The health minister was accompanied by some officials of the ministry, the regional and district health directorate, and member of parliament for the Ladadikutupong, Rita Na Udole Soa. Currently, the project is still at the substructure stage, with pillars being mounted on the foundation. The La General Hospital Redevelopment Project is a 164-bed capacity facility. The facility's master layout includes accommodation for staff, the main hospital building, an oxygen production plant, a service building, a mortuary and a car park. The project managers maintain they are working within schedule to complete in 28 months. So far, the structural works that have been done so far is at a level of 20 percent. The government is funding this 100 percent, and with the experience we got from the first certificate that was uh, paid, the contract was paid within time. So we conclude that the funds are available for the completion of the project. The minister made some recommendations to speed up work. It's better than what I saw when I came here about three weeks or so ago. Um, I have encouraged the contractor to increase the number of workers so that the pace of work can increase. Um, they've assured me that that is going to happen. In fact, I'm being told that they've started working in the evenings as well. For me, let's work within the period that the consultant has mentioned. I'm not a structural person. I don't want to say part of the OPD will be ready whilst others are coming up. Bottom line, if it goes by the roadmap, we know that we'll have our hospital functioning. MP for the area, Rita Na Udole Sowa, is hopeful work will be completed as promised. Today we are here and the foundation is up and I believe the 28 months period that they've given us, like I asked the engineer, it shouldn't mean that they are going to rush the project and then at the end of the day we'll have some shoddy work. So if they test the material and it's not the right material, they make sure that they get the right material to be used. The health minister also inspected progress of work on a children's hospital which is under construction at Weja. Since 1992, the whole of Accra, population of now 6 million, we have just one children's hospital. Even that structure is very dilapidated. The timeline for finishing this project is September of this year. And um, looking at the speed with which the contractor is working, I believe strongly that this uh, uh, Kufaro government would operationalize and have this facility benefit the people of Greater Accra. The 120-bed facility is to complement healthcare delivery at the Princess Marie Children's Hospital, which is currently not in a good state. Sarah Apenko, TV3 News, Accra.